Hello and welcome to another You Attend by Chronologic YouTube tutorial. My name is James and I am part of the support team for the You Attend system. And today we will be covering daily rule hours worked. We have a number of different overtime methods within You Attend. So we've got the weekly overtime, which you will have seen in another video. And we have two types of daily rules. And today we're going to do daily rules by hours worked. So we can set this up by clicking a department by logging in as an admin first of all or a supervisor with the necessary privileges so we'll go into the work department here and we'll go into the overtime tab and here we are in the overtime tab for work now we're going to do this by hours worked so at the moment it's saying that the overtime is by hour of the day which is something slightly different which will be covered in another video so we need to change this to by hours worked. It's just letting you know that it's gonna reconfigure. There's no data, so that's fine. By hours worked is essentially a way of specifying on specific days, if they work a certain number of hours uh, that they will earn overtime on those days. So if we look, we have two rates of overtime. And we could say on a Monday, and here it's got the from in the OT1. How many hours do they need to work over a Monday to earn this particular rate of OT1? So I could say if they work more than eight hours on a Monday, they will be paid a rate of 1.5. Remember, this is a multiplier, not a specific monetary rate. So if I am paid, 10 pounds an hour, I will be getting 1.5 times that 10 pounds an hour. Next up is the minimum hours. Sometimes uh, staff may leave uh, a little bit late, but they've not actually worked. So they may have worked their full eight hours, but they may have worked, say, five minutes after it. We could put in here uh, a minimum specification for how many hours or minutes they need to work in order to earn this overtime. So if I was to put in an example of say 15 minutes here, what this now means is after eight hours, I will be paid a rate of 1.5 in OT1, but I need to work at least 15 minutes after the eight hours before it will accrue. If I don't work the 15 minutes, it will simply round back to the eight hours here because the condition has not been met. So I can click save. It's also a well-known fact that some organizations on weekends will pay their staff a very special rate of double time as it's quite a rare occurrence. However, when organizations or businesses get extremely busy, they may be required to work over weekends in order to meet the demand for whatever nature of the business they operate in. We can see here that we've got a Sunday. So on a Sunday, you could say, if my guys come into work on a Sunday, I am going to pay them double time, period. So here we can click the edit button for the second rate, which is OT2. And as stated, if they work a Sunday, they'll get overtime. And we can put in here a rate of two to specify that this is two times or double. And as they're working on a Sunday, it's highly likely that they're gonna be in for less than an hour anyway. So for a minimum hours, we probably won't need to pop anything here. So we'll just click a save. And what this is now specifying is that if I work on a Sunday, I will get double time. If I work on a Monday over eight hours for at least 15 minutes past that, I will get over time rate one of time and a half. You can see how this works by clicking time cards, clicking the employee, and here we have some shifts. So you can see here this person has worked eight hours. They have not worked any longer, so therefore the time is not going over into OT1. If I was to edit this and say that this person actually clocked out at 
seven. You can see now that the standard eight hours that they will be paid as part of their normal rate will be paid here. And you can also see that the two additional hours that they worked after five have gone into the OT1, which is a different rate of pay. As for a Sunday, let's just pretend that this person came in on a Sunday and he did nine until two. You can see that this, because of the Sunday rule, is now in a different rate again. So we've got the regular hours, which is what they will be paid regularly. The overtime one, which we have specified is time and a half because they have worked over eight hours on the Monday. And because they came in on a Sunday, this is double time, which is the OT2. Thanks for listening. I hope you have found this video useful. Remember to like this video by clicking the thumbs up and subscribe for more content. You can find out more information on how to get in touch with us in the video description down below.